Good afternoon, welcome to Rescue Reading. My name is Layla, I'm the Education and Events Coordinator here at the Austin Humane Society. And we are happy that you're joining us for our Summer Kids Series. Today we're going to read a very special book called The Doggy Olympics because it's Olympics time. The Olympics will be starting in just a few days. And even though this book is about doggy Olympics, I am hanging out in one of our colony rooms with some of our adoptable kittens because we are focusing on cat care this month. So we wanted to still introduce you to some of the little sweeties that we have here at our shelter that are ready for their forever homes. Now this little guy right here is my friend Franklin. <laughs> Franklin is three months old and he is up for adoption. There's several other cats in this colony room with me. We'll see if they come visit while we're reading. But right now I think it's just gonna be me and Franklin hanging out and reading our good story. All right, let's get started. The Doggy Olympics. Every four years, dogs from all over the world meet up at not, none other than the Doggy Olympics. Dogs of all shapes, sizes, and colors compete in various events in hopes of bringing home the golden biscuit. Some standouts include the following, the foxhound, the bulldog, hello, the dachshund, a crested, a shepherd, and a husky. All right, lots of dog competitors. Day one, archery. Each dog lines up in front of their target. Ready, aim, shoot. The foxhound seems to shoot for the sky. The crested needs a little more muscle behind that shot. Uh, whoa, too strong for the husky. He broke his, his bow. A little short for the dachshund and a little high for the shepherd. Bullseye for the bulldog. Oh, little sweet baby. Your sweet, sweet pool feet, little buddy. Day two, tennis. It has been a rocky week on the tennis courts. It all comes down to the last match between France and Australia. Ready, set, serve. The Bulldog is no match for the Shepherd's high energy. With one last monster serve, the Shepherd takes the win. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> you giving me some love bites? You're so cute, little Franklin. Day three, hurdles. It is a sunny day inside the stadium. The dogs are approaching the starting line. On your mark, get set, go. The crested cannot seem to jump off the ground. Ouch, the husky trips over the hurdle and the dachshund does not seem to understand the rules. <laughs> the shepherd is close, but not close enough. The bulldog can't seem to catch his breath, and the foxhound is lightning fast. Ooh, the foxhound crossed the finish line. Day four, power lifting. After a true competition of strength, it all comes down to America versus Russia. One, two, three. Both America and Russia tug at the bar. Each lifts a little bit higher and a little bit higher. The bar is almost completely overhead when all of a sudden, America starts to shake and Russia sends the bar soaring to the sky. Little sweet boy. Day five, swimming, ooh, that's my favorite. Everyone has been looking forward to the pool day, including the dogs. Each dog walks into the arena and takes their lane. Take your mark, beep. Maybe the husky should have censored, <laughs> considered a haircut. The dachshund is too scared to jump into the water. Make that two haircuts, one for the shepherd too. Looks like they needed some, some fur trim before they got into the swimming pool. Well, hi, come here and see me. <laughs> you little cutie. The crested is super sleek and enjoys smooth sailing. The foxhound seems to have a problem swimming straight and the bulldog 
needs to work on his technique. <laughs> What are you doing back here, cutie? Day six, ooh, gymnastics, my other favorite. It appears the foxhound gets a little distracted by his tail. The crested could use a little more arm strength. Maybe gymnastics is meant for smaller dogs than the husky. Oh, he's not doing too well on the balance beam. The shepherd sways back and forth, trying to stay on the beam. If only the bulldog were taller. The dachshund looks like a graceful swan floating through the air. The dachshund down there. What do you think, Franklin? Little Frank. At the end of the week, it becomes clear. Individually, we are all good at something. And together, we are good at everything. Right? That's what we think. We want our animals and humans to be together and have a nice family home, right? And this is the author of the book. She dedicated it to her dog named Bear McLaughlin. Isn't that sweet? Well, we hope you've enjoyed this special uh, book about the Olympics and we hope you have fun watching the Olympics when they come on later this week. Um, my favorite is swimming and gymnastics and I can't wait to see all of the cool athletes uh, competing for the United States. We hope that you've enjoyed our story time and that you enjoyed meeting my little friend Franklin here in our colony room. If you're interested in adopting, you can email us at adoption at austinhumanesociety.org or you can go on our website and see all the cats and dogs that are looking for their forever homes. Our website is austinhumanesociety.org. Have a good day, everyone. Bye.